here with Jimbo from Precision Ski over in Frisco. Good morning, Jimbo. Wow, what a day driving what over day. here. It's awesome. I know, it's beautiful out there. And um, I feel like this is, we always have such a good time because I really mean mean it when I call you Professor Jimbo. Because <laughs> look at look at all this. This is like we're in a classroom. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, this is an interesting time of year. You know, when the snow goes through a lot of changes during the day, it feels uh, a little bit firm yeah. in the oh. morning <laughs> and then a little bit softer in the afternoon. And, so true. And when it's firm, you know, sometimes uh, there's some issues that show up in different people's skiing that... Uh, is related to their equipment mm -hmm. and it's a great time to check things out a little bit and uh, if there's an issue or two why not get them fixed so the next time we've got hard snow hard snow which happens yeah you're all set and uh, you know you're you're aligned well and spring is right around the corner so I feel like you know that's kind of a common thing and to be expected in springtime skiing especially first thing in the morning yeah so yeah. Um, you've brought in props right to right well this. you know let's start with the the skeleton guy here let's you know and this, this the is the time yep. this is the time of day that we you know tell everyone okay uh, take off all your clothes <laughs> and stand <Excuse> in, me? <laughs> and stand in front of a mirror okay you know it, it's shocking but mm -hmm. uh, you know you might see some things this is a sport skiing is it's an easy sport really when you think about it sure. because it's a, it's a symmetrical sport ah symmetry what goes to mm -hmm. the left goes to the right it's exactly the same both sides sure you know think about other sports think about tennis mm -hmm. you know that's wonkus on one side you got <laughs> something else going on don't even talk about golf but no, skiing no. is a symmetrical sport well and i can understand that that makes a lot of sense to me so and but i would assume though like Human bodies are not symmetrical. It's just not the way we're formed. Typically, well, right? you know, there you are standing in front of the mirror. And uh, if you think about your body being exactly divided in half, mm -hmm. which we're not necessarily even on right. both sides, you might see a body shape that looks a little bit like uh, Pee Wee Herman. Okay. With mm -hmm. a knock knee stance mm -hmm. where your knees kind of come closer together. Right. Or the opposite would be a uh, Yosemite Sam yep. stance, you mm -hmm. know, bow-legged. Okay. You know, what that does is it translates to your skis. If you're bow-legged, you might be on the outside edge of your ski. Okay. If you're knock kneed you might be on the inside edge. And so what does that mean for, you know, when you're skiing? Does that affect it? It means that, that your turns might not feel the same. You might mm. be lopsided. It might feel easier to go to the right than to the left. Okay, Going so that Going down a catwalk, that. your skis may be crossing or may be drifting apart. Okay. So the goal is to try to get standing flat. As even Symmetrical as sport, stand flat, think good things will happen. Okay, so, and how is this achieved? I mean, is it by the ski boot or what, what is well, this? Well, it, it, as I said, it's equipment related. First of all, think about your foot. It's got 26 little tiny bones in it and they're That's all mushy, lot. held together with string and springs and rubber bands. <laughs> oh, and wow, I didn't realize all of this, you know, so, so you're putting all your weight and all your energy for skiing through this mush ball of little tiny bones. Okay. So what you should do is start by shoring this up, make a good foundation. Mm -hmm. What comes inside mm -hmm. just about every ski boot is an assortment of a, an insole that has a foot shape, but this is mushy. There's nothing going on here in terms of support. I think you're just really strong. Oh, no, it really is. No, it, it is really just mushy. Is. Okay. So, you know, replace the insole mm -hmm. with a decent insole. Mm -hmm. A trim to fit insole can cost as little as uh, 35 or $45. Okay. Up to a custom print, your footprint inside the boot. Okay. And then all sorts of good things start to happen. Okay, I like first the of, of all, First of all. Oh, look, and we're showing some. You can kind of see what they're, they're oh, showing. Oh, yeah, There's yeah, exactly. Shot. You know, when you're knock kneed, uh, your feet tend to roll toward the arches. Mm -hmm. uh, this happens in a lot of cases. Very few people stand in a neutral stance. Mm -hmm. So by adjusting the boot, if you do stand in a knock kneed stance, mm -hmm. the upper cuff of the boot has some adjustability. And it's usually right here. It's a hinge point. Okay. And this has an adjustability on one side mm -hmm. as well as the other. Oh, this Nordica right, so boot happens to have it. So what that does is it allows for a little bit of customization here. Right, right. To adapt the boots to your lower leg shape. If you're Yosemite Sam, right. these cuffs get pushed out. Ah. If you're Pee Wee Herman, the cuffs get pushed in. Interesting. So starting with a solid foundation and adjusting the cuffs 
this gets you pretty close. I was going to say, this, so this will make you a, a stronger skier, really. Yes, yes, where it feels as solid going one way as it does the other way. Going straight is easy. You don't have uh, skis that are wandering. And then, you know, for fine little adjustments, we have these wedges which go inside the boot. Okay. Which, you know, thin on one side, thick on the other, and you can... So you can adjust them. Adjust oh, yeah, like inside the boot to really ensure that, that you're standing as neutral as you can. Then good things start to happen. Happen, right, okay. So it's, it's an easy sport. It, an easy Tilt them to turn them, that's I, all that has to happen. And this is why you are called Professor Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> so for folks out there that are thinking about um, working on their foundation of skiing, it's an yes. easy fix to do, and you can help them over at Precision Ski. Where are you located? We're in Frisco mm -hmm. on Summit Boulevard, uh, right next to the discount carpet store. They just moved in, our new neighbors were across Ooh. from the Walmart complex. So easy to find, and Jimbo has a very knowledgeable staff that can help you out with this. And it's a really subtle change, but it it'll really make a huge improvement on your skiing. It makes so. a huge difference in your skiing. Well, perfect. Thanks for joining me this morning, Professor. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for letting me come in. Anytime. Enjoy the day. All right, folks. We have more Summit Sunrise coming your way. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this.